guess I don't want maybes cause they leave me where you found me. Welcome back to the Michael Do video. And in this one, I have a new project I would like to share with all of you guys, and I call it the Custom Rhythm Creator. It basically allows you to create rhythm charts for literally any song and play them. You have to create them yourself, or you can take them from online, and it's really easy to do so. Now, I'll show you the full project and everything you can do with it. So first is the way to chart. All you need to do is click the create button and it allows you to open this create menu. You have to find the song you want to chart, double click on it, add in the name, and then you can click the create button below. The countdown will start and all you have to do is press any button on your keyboard. This button will be linked to one of the random four nodes. When charting, you can press any key on your keyboard. You can hold these keys down to create whole notes, and you can press them to create regular notes. And you can have max 4 buttons pressed at the same time. Currently, all I've been doing is pressing any random key on my keyboard here, and each of these keys that I press will translate into a note into the game. So make sure that you're either pressing the note to the rhythm, or you're pressing it to the leader. It doesn't really matter. And, when you're finally done charting, this is what it'll turn out to be. Next, if you don't want to create a track, but instead import done, all you have to do is click on the find slash import tracks button. Here, all you have to do is locate an mp3 and locate a JSON file. If you want, you can join my Discord server to easily find tracks, as I'm going to create a channel where people can upload what they created. You have to make sure both the mp3 and JSON have the exact same names, click import, and it will show up in your list. You can click on it to play it. Next, customize. You can customize all of these settings here. You change FPS, arrow speed, and the keybinds you can use. Make sure that the keybinds are correct though. On top of this, you can change the arrow colors in game. Finally, if you want to share your work that you created, click the open folder button and upload it to my channel called Custom Charts. It's in the Michael Doe Discord server if you want to join. Link in the description. Thank you for watching. If you have any ideas, please join the Discord and drop them in the forums below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.